Hello folks, I'm Dan. Another reloading room project today. I've got an old Lyman Mold Master pot, 20 pound pot, I've had for years and years. And here a few years ago it gave up on me, just quit heating up. And I wasn't sure if it was yellow, I wasn't sure if it was the controller, exactly what the deal was with it. And I uh, wasn't casting a whole lot with it, I was using my um, Magma Master caster. So I just set it aside and I drug it out here the other day. I didn't know if the controller was bad or if the heating element was bad. If the controller was bad it was no big deal because I planned to switch it over to PID control. If the heating element was, mat, was bad I wasn't even going to mess with it. I was just going to probably scrap it. So I went ahead I've already disassembled it and um, I plugged the heating element in direct I, and the heating element's good. So it, uh, it tests good. It's going to be fine. So we'll uh, clean this pot up, redo it to where it's hopefully pretty much like new, and then we'll put a PID control on it. We've got the, the pot and the housing that was, and we've got a lot of rust on the, on the steel parts of it. It's, the housing was all beat up. We'll straighten it up and, and repaint it with some high temperature paint. Um, this will clean up and sandblast and, and redo. Here's the, here's the old mold master. Um, control box. I've gone ahead and pulled the pulled the rheostat out of it, and it's. I think it probably just burned out. Is I think all that had happened to it. Um, so those parts we won't use, with the exception of we may take that fancy little label and put it back on someplace so it so it looks original. Aluminum base. We'll clean. We'll clean all of this stuff and paint what's what's needs to be. And we've got some rust showing. The uh, the arm was was a black finish. I can take these parts and run them through the blowing tanks and re-blue them like we did with the lubricizer. We've got the knob, we won't use it. And we've cleaned up the, a few of these pieces. We've got some, some rust showing on them. That'll all get cleaned up and, and redone here. As you probably have gathered, I'm a pretty big fan of PID controls on a lot of this equipment. I think for temperature controllers, for casting pots, all my lubricizers, I'm con in the process of converting over what I haven't already done. And I think in this day and age, it's foolish not to do it. It's so inexpensive to control them that way that uh, I think it, it makes them kind of foolproof. You plug them in and you let them go and they do their thing. So anyway, here's here's what we've got for pieces to stickly today. I'm just going to play with this stuff a little bit. We'll clean up a little bit of this where it's rusty and everything. And the um, the pot will, or the housing, we'll go ahead and straighten it up some and, and see maybe if we can't get some probably barbecue paint on that. I think I've got some black, black high temp paint over there that we can recoat that.
reality is you can spend as much or as little time as you want on these. And I've spent about all that I'm going to spend on it as far as prepping this. That will clean up pretty nice. And a little coat of black paint on there will uh, will make that into a nice little setup. Make sure we still line up and fit. And we do. put a little barbecue paint on it. This may very well be somebody's homemade guide. That doesn't look like a factory built guide. We may change that around. We may just leave it as it is and clean it up. There's nothing really wrong with it. It works. I just don't know that that's the... Looks like somebody's taken a, some square extrusion and maybe cut it down. Oh, well, that may be factory, but it's been butchered on a little bit. So. Anyway, I think we'll leave this part right here for now. Next time we'll go back and start cleaning up this pot. I'm going to do some sort of a mounting for a temperature probe and there's several ways I could do it. Um, I could weld an enclosed bung into the side of it and put a short temperature probe in there but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put some sort of a mounting bracket up on top. I've got some long temperature probes so I think I'll take and set them up to where I can actually remove it. So we'll just put some sort of a bracket down on the inside or at the top to mount that bra to mount that probe so it's secure. And then we'll still have the option of we can remove it or if it goes bad we can change it out easily. Something like that. And next time we'll go through and start cleaning up the steel parts and getting them ready to blue. Hopefully you'll find something here that will help you in your reloading room or in your casting room. And if you find these videos helpful, you might want to hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. Any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. And thanks for taking the time to watch.